Hey, what's up, YouTube? Travis here. Um, <clears throat> not smoking right now, and uh, I didn't get any video inside of Just For Him. Um, there's a lot of people inside, especially with being the holidays uh, and everything, and I just didn't really feel comfortable um, filming in there. Um, no one suggested I shouldn't, but I, I didn't want to ask and put anybody out uh, just because of how many people were there. <clears throat> but um, I did want to recount my experience um, and let you know a few, a couple of things I purchased. Uh, first off, can't say enough good things about this place. Uh, it's just a, a really nice shop, uh, a great setup there. Um, if you haven't been there before, <clears throat> it's in Springfield, Missouri, and half the shop is a tobacconist where they have pipes and cigars, a huge selection of both, um, two great lounge areas, uh, either out front where you have a nice view uh, outside or back in the back. Uh, where they have TVs set up and, and everything, and it's just really comfortable, laid-back uh, place. People there who work there are great. Um, you can just walk in, grab a cigar, cut it, light it, smoke it, and, and then you just you know show them the wrapper afterwards and pay for it. And uh, it's just really nice and laid-back place. I, I love that they have that setup. Um, I purchased a couple of things on the other side of the uh, shop where the tobacco is not. They have, it's kind of like a, I guess you call it a haberdashery, uh, a men's store. Um, and I bought some pomade. Um, it's the Suavecito uh, Stronghold. <clears throat> and it smells uh, great. I love the smell of this. Um, it just smells really clean uh, and manly. It's, not, it's definitely not a, um, it's not a real traditional scent like a bay rum or a, a bergamot or something like that. Um, but it's just a very clean, uh, fresh smell, which I like. Um, so they have those. They have shaving gear. They have globes. They have tons of hats. Um, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, and I could probably spend a fortune there and uh, spend a lot of time there, which I, I have the past two days. Um, but <clears throat> I sat in and I uh, had a cigar yesterday, uh, one of the Rocky Patel, the Edge, um, the, I don't know if it's the Maduro or if they call it an Oscuro wrapper, but it's very, very dark. Um, so I had one of those and um, sat down, enjoyed a cigar, uh, chatted with some people, met some new folks, uh, played a game of chess with the gentleman there, uh, which was fun. I haven't played chess in a long time, uh, so we were both, we were both average, I would say, and it was very close. And we played for about an hour and a half, and I, I was able to win at the end. Um, but it was a lot of fun. <clears throat> and so I, I didn't purchase anything besides the cigar that day. But I went back today. I had another cigar. I had one of the uh, Tatuaje Tattoo um, cigars. It was, uh, I don't know the name of the shape, except that it was a torpedo. Um, that's all I know. <clears throat> and it was wonderful. Uh, tasted great and I had a good time enjoying that and I pur purchased a few other items the pomade that I just showed you and then I also grabbed uh, a package of J Fuego uh, <coughs> this uh, package of cigars here uh, this is a Maduro line and these are they're pre-cut they smell wonderful I'm not 100% sure if they're dry cured or not. I don't know much about them, but they're a cheaper line. This whole package of five cigars was only $13. <clears throat> and so it, that's a little bit cheaper, but, um, and I've never had them, so I'm kind of going out on a limb to try them, but they smelled wonderful. They had some singles out. And they just smelled really good. They didn't really smell like a dry cured cigar that I'm used to. But they, maybe they're very similar to the Villiger Naturals, because they don't really smell like a dry cured cigar either. <clears throat> but I'm excited to try those. Um, I also met a, a very nice gentleman, he's a, a pastor here in the area, uh, and we talked pipes and pipe tobacco. I showed, showed him uh, one of my pipes that I had recently uh, made in the last year, um, so you guys might be familiar with that. Um, so he took a look at that. And it was kind of funny because when he first looked at it, he, he picked it up and said, well, can I look at this? I said, sure. And he said, <clears throat> and he kind of looked confused as he's looking at it. I said, is, is there something wrong? And he said, well, I, I couldn't find the stamp. I couldn't find the maker. 
<laughs> and I just kind of chuckled. I said, I actually carved that. And he was impressed. Um, and he has a son-in-law who uh, carves pipes. And his son-in-law is a much better pipe carver than I am. Um, but it was exciting to talk to him about that. Um, I'm going to blank on that uh, pipe carver's name, so I'm going to have to look it up and share it with you guys in another video. But his pipes looked beautiful. <clears throat> so we, we chatted for a while, and uh, we shared a bowl of Grey Havens, and he had some older Grey Havens that he let me try. And it, it, That is a wonderful G Virginia Perique tobacco. If you guys have not tried Grey Havens, I highly recommend it. I know it is, there's nothing new about it. Um, but it was delicious. Um, very smooth and interesting. Not, not boring at all. Uh, and very well balanced. So I recommend that. Uh, and then he was also kind enough to just drop this in my lap. This is a sample of Penzance from 2003. So a 12 year old, almost 12 year old tobacco. He said, here, if you like Penzance, because we were talking about well, all kinds of tobaccos. He said, here, you should try this. And I said, well, well, thanks. And I started to open it up to put some in my pipe. He said, no, just, just take that. And I said, I can't, can't do that. He said, sure you can. He said, just take it. So uh, that was pretty awesome. Uh, really generous guy. And this is just another example of why this hobby and the people involved in this hobby are so awesome. Uh, so I'm, uh, I'm happy to accept that wonderful gift and can't wait to pass it on. Um, and share tobacco with uh, friends and uh, new new friends and people I meet <clears throat> in the future. Uh, so that was just a good time. Uh, we, we were able to chat and talk and visit and enjoyed a cigar and enjoyed some pipe uh, tobacco and talking pipes. And um, so it, I, it's really sad. It makes me sad to know how few shops like that are around anymore. And I, I feel jealous of those of you who live in the southeastern portion of the United States because it seems like you guys have a lot more. Maybe you don't, but it, maybe it's just the impression I get. But here in the Midwest, there's just there's so few and far between. Um, there's a handful in St. Louis and Kansas City and then this one in Springfield. But if you're not in a major metropolitan area, they just don't really exist anymore, which is sad. Uh, but I'm very happy and pleased to get to visit them when I'm here. So, uh, anyway, that, that's about it for now. I know my videos have been kind of long, so I'm going to stop and only have an eight-minute video here, I guess. So, <clears throat> get out your local tobacconist if you can. Try some new tobacco. Uh, I can't wait to talk about some of the new things uh, that I've been coming across and wanting to try. So, we'll see you guys next time.